So, if your BMW diesel is showing an EGR fault or an airflow sensor fault or many other faults, then this is the video for you. Don't go throwing your money away on unessential parts. Start by checking these couple of items first and then you may find you have a problem with the inlet manifold. So first, let's start by just checking the air filter. This could be blocked or clogged, but we're not going to stop there. There's something else we need to check too. More importantly, now we're going to check the mass airflow sensor. This is very easy to remove and what you see may shock you. It could be built up with carbon deposits like this. If it is, then you will need to remove the throttle body. Afterwards, we'll remove the inlet manifold. So let's remove the big air box from the front so we can see what we're doing. The bottom hose needs to be unclipped and then there are three bolts fastening the throttle body to the inlet manifold and then a few more bolts to the side. There's one tucked away right down here. A little bit of a wiggle and it will come off and what you will see is going to surprise and maybe shock you. You might now understand why your engine lights on and maybe why your car's not been driving as good as it should. The amount of carbon that can build up is astonishing. This is normally caused by short journeys and the use of supermarket fuel. We obviously need to go further. So next, we're going to remove the inlet manifold and we're gonna get rid of all this bad carbon deposits. There's only a few bits of wiring harnesses and things around the inlet manifold. With these unclipped and out of the way, all that remains to do is loosen the five 10 milli bolts holding the manifold on and then this will simply slide out to the front of the vehicle. It may be a little bit tight on the wiring, but it will slide out. And as you may have expected, there's lots more carbon to find. Now, here comes the time consuming part. You will need to clean out the inlet manifold, the inlet ports, the induction, everything. I personally use a screwdriver to loosen the thick sludge and then knock it out and then clean it out with some degreasing agent. You can see how thick and how blocked locked and clogged it is. I have done a fair few of these on various different diesel engines and it still amazes me the amount of carbon that gets built up in these manifolds. Just look at it.
on the inlet ports it's totally unavoidable to get some carbon in there so what I usually do is blow it out with an airline it may be difficult to start but it will start eventually because we had an EGR fault I felt it only right to remove the EGR valve and just check it over all seemed fine with no blockages here we are now looking much better all nice and clean with no blockages I always recommend replacing the map sensor. You could clean it out, but for what it costs, I would just replace it. Now, just rebuild in reverse order. It's worth noting, reset the adaptions on the EGR valve and the airflow sensor. I certainly hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope it helped resolve your problems. As you can see, everything's fine now. This has been How To Fix It. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, and here's some more interesting BMW videos.